Jasmine Singer, and I am here today at Moo Shoes, a totally 100% vegan shoe store on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Today, I'm going to talk to Sarah and Erica Kuberski, the sisters who founded Moo Shoes. I'm Sarah, and I'm Erica, and we are the owners of Moo Shoes. We are currently in our third location, hopefully our last move. Um, we were originally on 26th Street and then moved down to the Lower East Side and now are at our on Orchard Street on the Lower East Side. We constantly ask ourselves why isn't there a vegan shoe store and then we came across vegetarian shoes in the UK probably I guess 15 years ago now and we're like well if it's there if it could work in Brighton it could definitely work in New York City so and as New York natives we knew that this is where we wanted to open up our shop. There's more of a demand and um, also our selection just has increased. There's become like so many new companies that are doing this and um, so it's a really exciting time and it just keeps on growing. People in general are very open to it and um, even the people who aren't necessarily looking for vegan shoes feel good about buying vegan shoes. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I would say for the most part people are happy to buy non-leather shoes, you know, every once in a while. Somebody's obnoxious, but <laughs> that's part of New York. <laughs> I mean, some people, you know, they might not be vegan, but they're, um, you know, concerned about the environment. So, you know, a lot of the manufacturers we carry also focus on that as well. I would say we're about half and half um, online sales and in-store sales. I mean, a lot of our in-store um, customers, though, are not from New York City. They're just traveling through and I would say we are somewhat of a destination for vegans traveling to New York City. We're both, you know, vegan for, for ethical reasons and that's why we opened the store and then um, it kind of developed into more of an activist thing as we went on and um, started having different events at the store and we weren't necessarily planning that when we opened the store but we just when we opened the store we just met so many great people and um, it just seemed like a natural development. I studied nutrition and I mean now I have um, children and you know it's always like a question like oh how are you raising you know vegan children but you know it's really not much of a concern you know both my children seem to be doing very well so funny enough we usually like the same shoes and so it, we always um, there's always that pressure to at least be wearing different shoes uh -huh. um, from one another and we're very practical people so we will mostly catch us in sneakers of some sort but these, these are the fancy sneakers right? <laughs> You know, for us, we really did not know what to expect until we just started doing it, and we just learned as we went along what worked for our business. Definitely get some cats. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're, they're a definite crowd pleaser, so, um, I mean, I think really, you know, you have to go for it. If we knew, you know, if we knew everything that went into it, we probably wouldn't have just opened up, but it's been a great experience, and... I mean, thank goodness, because I'm really not qualified to do anything else, so. <laughs> um, Erica was vegetarian first. I think I may have gone vegan first. I've been vegetarian since I was eight and vegan since I was 16, and I'm now almost 31. And I think definitely at the beginning, we um, encouraged each other to stick with it, because being the only vegans we knew, I think it was hard then. Now it's very second nature. It's a little known fact that I actually used to work at Moo Shoes, and at that time it wasn't uncommon for someone to just come on in, look around, fall in love with a few pairs of shoes, go to the cash register to buy them, look a little more closely, and say, wait, these aren't leather, and we'd say, no, they're vegan, completely ethically sourced and sustainable. The person would think for a few minutes and then they'd always say, well then what do we need leather for? Exactly. Scratch it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>